One, two, two three. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs>
Temecula is a city with a history that mirrors the broader narrative of California, marked by several distinct periods. The first is the Native American period. The area now known as Temecula was originally inhabited by the Luisino people, including the Pechanga tribe. The second is the Spanish colonial period. The name Temecula comes from the Luisino language, meaning place of the sun or where the sun breaks through the mist. The third is the Mexican Republic period. Period. Following Mexico's independence from Spain, the land was granted to private individuals as ranchos. This period saw the secularization of the missions and the transfer of land from mission property to private hands. The fourth and last one is the United States statehood. California's statehood brought significant changes to Temecula. The arrival of the railroad in the 1880s spurred development and growth, leading to the establishment of the city's current location. Today, Temecula, nestled in the southwestern part of Riverside County, is a city that's rich in history and modern attractions. Yay! The sun finally came out. It's time to board back the bus. The museum was pretty small. It's just nice to look around. It was really windy, so it was a nice place to just get shelter from the wind. But I'm glad the sun's out. And then now we're just going to go to Idlewild. So we made it into Idlewild. And the mayor, which is a dog, yeah. comes out at 2 p.m. every day. So we're gonna go take a look at the mayor of the city. It has had a series of golden retrievers serving as honorary mayors. The current mayor is Mayor Max III, who took office on December 10th, 2022. The election allowed residents to nominate and vote for their dogs and cats, with each vote being a dollar donation to the animal rescue organization. The mayoralty of these furry friends has not only brought joy to the residents, but also garnered international attention. Oh my god, so they're brothers and sisters. So that's so cute. Idlewild, California is a charming mountain community with a rich history and cultural significance. Nestled in the San Jacinto Mountains, it has been a significant site for the Cahuilla Indians for at least 2,500 years. It is known for its serene natural beauty, outdoor recreation opportunities, and vibrant arts community. It's a haven for artists and nature enthusiasts alike, with galleries, festivals, and a pine-shaded setting that offers a peaceful retreat from city life. Set against the backdrop of breathtaking natural scenery, Idlewild's blend of natural beauty and artistic vibrancy underscores its rightful place among America's most cherished art towns. Idlewild is dotted with a variety of galleries and studios that showcase the work of local artists, including photography, painting, sculpture, and more. The artist-operated galleries and the commitment to nurturing creativity make Idlewild a coveted destination for those seeking inspiration and a place to thrive artistically. All right, y'all, we have only a couple of hours in this town right here. We pretty much walked this town. It's very small, but like it's all within very walking distance. Time for a quick caffeine break. I got the ice blended matcha. We are sitting in the second story of this building, overlooking such a beautiful, beautiful view of the mountains and of the city. I'm like, wow, look at that view. So mom, dad, what do you think of today's trip? Oh, 
relaxing right now. Enjoy my vanilla coffee. Good tape. Yeah, better is so cool. Recommend. Recommend. <laughs> Do you like this Idlewild better or earlier today when we went to Temecula? This is kind of a relaxing little time. Temecula is like more thing for you to go if you want something to do at maybe better play and the first you can come over here like enjoy a peaceful afternoon and stay at night that will be good one, one two, two three cheers, cheers. <laughs> so yeah to me i think i prefer this section of the trip better than what we did earlier when we were at temecula the reason being is because i think at temecula it was all cars stuff because i mean today is a car show day it's just like a matter of personal hobbies and interest, right? Like, I'm not really interested in cars and old cars and fixing up cars. So going there, it was nice to see all the cars, but I didn't really understand anything, know anything about car parts or the history of different automobiles and whatnot. Here in Idlewild, I really like it. It's a very, very hidden town in the mountains. And I really liked how they try to make it special by saying how Mayor Max is the mayor, which is a dog. And they come out at 2 p.m to greet the public and everyone's so happy to see dogs and pet the dogs and it's just so unique and yeah definitely it's a town that's very quiet a lot of the artists have been here for many years already and you know they are proud to showcase their music skills their art skills or their crafting skills i did hear from one of the shop owners that today is considered a busier day today is a saturday so i'm pretty sure yeah during the weekdays it's probably pretty dead from what i can imagine because i just wanted to share the calendar book that they gave us oh it's so chilled. Look at that little face over there. This is actually perfect timing because I've actually been reading a calendar to put in our house, so. Oh, this is Mitzi, the one we saw too. This is the co-mayor. This is so cute. But yeah, I think this pretty much concludes the end of today's vlog. I'm really happy I got to spend time with my parents because I don't remember the last time me and my parents went on a trip like this. I think this is probably before I got married. I spent most of my time with Steven, you know, starting a new chapter of my life. It's just hard to go to you said at 25 and then I got married. I have my own life. My husband, I used to be really close to my parents, so I was totally getting so close now. But anyways, this concludes the end of this vlog. Bye.